right there that is some type of egg oh look at this yeah dig down and there's just more and more of these little bubbles and right there that caught my eye right there oh man beautiful look at that isn't that beautiful i just found a pocket of obsidians check this out so i'm down here scratching around with my hammer look at all those welcome back to another adventure miners prospectors and rock counters it's always good to see you all back at the channel I am finally back at Ruby Mountain. That's it, right behind me. Today we're going to be looking for obsidians, the Apache Tears, magma, and water cooling created these obsidians, and there's tons on this mountain. We can also find garnets plus yellow topaz, and that's what I'm really going to be looking for, the yellow topaz. I found the garnets before on this mountain, and they're extremely small so hopefully we can find some yellow topaz as well all right let's get up on the mountain behind me start digging and that's not like 10,000 feet or nothing that's i don't know 8,000 feet not sure what the elevation is around here but it's not too bad you're still going to want plenty of water plenty of liquids in this video i'll be using my hard rock hammer a couple buckets to put my specimens and all my obsidians and whatever else i find i'm not going to throw them down because it's already wanting to roll down the mountain so here's another blowout this would be more to me on the north end of ruby mountain haven't seen any garnets yet and they call it ruby mountain because when they first discovered this place the garnets they were finding they thought they were rubies but it turns out they're just garnets i don't see any some type of crystals there I'm gonna check these big rocks out I thought I saw obsidians over here yeah here's one here we go here's an obsidian and these are translucent oh that's a good one too look at that that's awesome almost has a purple tint to them they're about a 5.5 round of five on the hardness scale and these are really good for depression that's what these help with and i'll be gathering a lot of these obsidians and i'll be adding them to my patreon monthly giveaways and to all my patreons i even add these into my unsearched dmi diamond ore to kind of add some other gems and minerals that is so cool the first one i found is beautiful and i would say that's about a four carat i mean just awesome all right oh i thought that was one but it's a big poop big pellet poop the obsidians on this side some really nice clarity and uh quality i just don't see very many over on the other side where i gathered in my other video if you haven't seen that one go back and check it out you can click on the uh card that's popping up right now and if you notice and remember from that video i was picking up the obsidians left and right i mean just buckets full 
and over here I'm just not seeing too many of them that's crazy so far just this one and it's pretty that'd be a good one to get cut into a gym make y'all a deal. I'm gonna fill this medicine bottle up full of obsidians. Let's get this video up to 1,000 likes within two weeks of being uploaded and I'll give these away to one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment. So don't forget to click the like button and share this video out. I have scanned this whole area and I found one. It's a good one, but we want to fill this whole bottle up. I need my buckets filled up. That way I got plenty for everyone that signs up and buys my pay dirt. YouTube giveaways, so many of you. I can't thank you all enough. And here lately, my channel has gone up in views, subscribers. I have new Patreons. I can't thank all of you. There's so many of you I need to thank it's really hard to do thank you all is that a mountain lion i just saw a big cat i think we're in the wrong spot let's do some more prospecting and see if we can't find a better spot over here and then we'll work our way over to the guest whoa I'm about halfway up Ruby Mountain, starting to see the obsidians, the Apache Tears popping up everywhere. Check it out. Walking up the goat path, there's the parking lot. Here's all that really white material. And yeah, they're just um, starting to show up right about in here. There's one. There's one. So far I've got five. That one's pretty big. But the more I go up, what is that? Nothing. I start seeing more and more though. There's, here's one. There's a whole bunch of them. Look at those. Look at that big one. Big old bean. That's what we want those bean size. Oh, I'm dropping them. Right, I'm gonna need my container and start filling it up right here. And this is kind of a washout. This is washing down from that trail. So the host rock could be right up in there. And this is just what has washed down over hundreds of years. Let's come over here. Oh, look at that. That's the matrix. That's the rock we're looking for. Here's one. What is that? Piece of gum or... Ew. But these are really nice detail. I like how these are just really smooth. Very cool. Visitors popping up. About 11 o'clock. I love the gym quality ones that are just, I've got one, ooh, look how dark that one is. 
Let's see what they look like if they're really dark. Cool. There's a good size one right there. Nice. I have one that is so beautiful. It looks like it's been cut and polished, but it came right out of this mountain. Just the way it is. Oh my gosh. I twisted my ankle. Oh, God dang it. Ow. I think I just twisted my ankle. Ow. Damn. Ow. Not good. With ants. Ow, oh, that hurt. Oh, damn it. Oh, look. <laughs> Obsidians. Oh, God dang it. Oh, damn, that hurt. Ah. Feels more like a cramp. Oh, but it definitely hurt. Maybe it's just a cramp. Oh, my toes. You definitely want to wear some type of shoes like this. Even that. I'm still losing my grip. And that's a long ways down. That's what I almost slid off of. Jeez. I can try it. I think I dropped half of them. Ooh, there's a good one. Maybe I fell down for a reason. <laughs> Dang, still sliding. But dang, look at the size of this one. Man. Put these in my back pocket. Oh, look at that big old jelly bean. Oh, come on. Probably one the size of a quarter just looking at me. Now I know why there's a whole bunch over here. You will fall to your death for a stone that has no value. Ooh. I like the way these look over here. Oh my gosh, they're just, let me get out of the sun. But this whole side right here. Oh, it's just covered in them. Oh, yeah, I thought that was one. There's a big one. Ooh, there's a big one. That's the biggest one so far. Five carat, six carat. Ooh, may have just beat it. Look at that. They are just all over the spot right here. Good grief. Headache. The quality of these, I don't really like compared to pulling them straight out of the matrix. That's where I got my really pretty one. This looks like this stuff right here. Yeah, that's it. Just a different, looks like it got pretty hot. Here's a obsidian still attached in the matrix. But even this has different colors, meaning some got really hot and some didn't. So the obsidians will be a better quality if you can find the right one but it's just it's just covered in them all right time to move on and start pulling the obsidians right out of the matrix and we may come across the yellow topaz the garnets are normally up higher and you're just not allowed to go up there sometimes you can find pieces down here with garnets still attached but they're so small we're going to go to a different location, 
near Salida and get our garnets. And they get a lot bigger. Plus Moonstone, Peridot, Agatized Jasper. I am on one of the main paths that loops around the mountain. Come right up there from the parking lot and all this gray colored purplish tint and some of it that's where all the obsidians and i guess the yellow topaz could come out of this as well or the yellow topaz could be embedded with the garnets that type in that matrix rock which is a lot harder to pick at than this stuff right here that has the obsidians I'm going to gather a lot of specimens like this I like to throw in some of these with my to my element and gemstone collectors over on my patreon account because without that support I wouldn't be able to really make as many trips as I do I'm going to get a whole bucket of specimens ooh look at that one you can see over here how these are starting to look a little better. That's where the vein is. That's where the outcropping is. We can go up there and pick at that and get some really nice ones. Or you can just sit around and pick them up right off the surface and get some really nice quality. Wow, that's awesome. Ooh. Yeah, we'll chew it up on that one there. Yeah, that's a good one. We're now up here at the outcropping. I'm gonna do some gathering. Get some big, large specimens. Dang, check that one out. It's just loaded. Get some stuff like this for my Patreons, YouTube supporters. And then I'll start working on getting these containers filled up. But it's just pouring out of this. And these are some amazing pieces. The obsidians are going to be just really trans. Translucent compared to what we were finding over there, these are going to be a lot better. So, I'm finding better individual pieces up here, and down there, I'm finding better specimen pieces. So, I may go back down there to work on getting this bucket filled up. You can just see how they're just popping out of this. Ooh, look at that one. When you can get them out of it like that, man, they can be pretty. Take a look at that one in the sun. Oh my God. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna try to gather as many of these right here that I can. That's why I like to get them out of this matrix. They just pop right out of there sometimes. Surface hunting. And check this one out. A new record. Man, that's a big one. 
that might be a double digit at least an eight carat probably won't be able to see through it but if you was to get that one cut it would definitely be translucent oh yeah you can see there on the corner nice yeah this may be where the big ones are find one big one you'll find another big one sweet look at that that's a big check that one out huge American have been here. I've been hammering away at the outcropping here and I can tell this is full of really good high quality obsidians so I'm going to do some hammering and try to break off some pieces to add to the bucket it's hammer time even find a pocket out here full of them torn out by the thousands and they're all oh that one was big and yes wear gloves eat my fingers up that's basically all you gotta do walk up here hammer away or you can just pick them up off the surface there's thousands millions looking at me saying pick me pick me Y'all worry about what's in my left pocket. I just found a pocket of obsidians. Check this out. So I'm down here scratching around with my hammer. Look at all those. They're big ones. See if we can get some more. Seems like they're just coming out right out of here. Kind of thought, if, you know, the big ones could be deeper because they're heavier. Oh. Maybe they're coming from up here. Oh, look at all of them.
getting the really good quality type. And I have the container full. If this video can reach 1,000 likes in two weeks, one lucky subscriber will win this whole container full of nice obsidians from Ruby Mountain, Colorado. Whew, it's every bit of one o'clock. And I found a nice vein that's just loaded with obsidians. You see them loaded. There's some big ones popping out of here, guys. I've got two medicine containers filled. And working on a water bottle. So what I'm doing is just hammering on it. Yeah, you're going to damage some of them. They seem to just popping out of there. Okay. So they're popping out. I'll do them for a while. Oh my gosh. I'll do that, brush them off. See, you can see some over here. There are all the materials falling down. And they're flying out here. You can just pick them up left and right over here. But down here is where it gets good. They're all down here. Check out the quality I'm getting out of this vein. Obsidian vein. Vein of obsidian. I mean, that's some pretty nice stuff. Now, I'm going to fill up buckets using my number four classifier. I found that one laying on the surface where I've been working. Pays off to go back through your tailing piles. That's what, a eight carat, six carat, somewhere in there. Real nice. And notice it will not go through the classifier. So all the material that doesn't go through, I'm going to save it and then classify it through a half inch to remove all the larger material I don't want and try to recover some of the larger obsidians like this one. You can see they're just loaded and I can just brush them out sometimes. See how they just fall right out of that matrix. See that? Look at that. They're just falling right out. And I brush everything down into this pile. They're just building up right here and I'll scoop that up. Throw it in the classifier. And then we'll be using the gemstone concentrator and make centers with this material. And see if we can't get a center. Nothing but obsidians. So it's going to be, it's going to be really cool to get this material and make centers. And it might be an easier way to get the obsidians. We'll definitely be needing some tools like the pickaxe, the shovel, the bucket, and classifier. All right. Well, I've been picking and picking away. And there's obsidians everywhere. There's tons of them down in here. waiting to be scooped up ran through the classifier and when I was picking they were flying all over here they're coming way over here so I want to get all that material scoop it up it's a nice one right there cool 
All right, well, time to start shoveling this up and then get back to picking at the uh, rock. There's a couple larger obsidians that won't fall through this number four. So I'll save all this material and run it through a number, maybe a half inch. I'll still get large chunks like that, but it'll be easier to pick through and find these versus having all types of bigger rocks in the way. And as you can see, it's not letting up. I'm out here baking in the sun man and here's where I'm at bucket of material to go make centers and I also have a bucket and somewhat quarter of a bucket larger material to go through this just kept giving and giving and it still is it's endless and I've seen a couple big ones come out of here. We may have got the double digit. I'm gonna have to get all these, uh, get all this material worked, pick through it, see if we got that double digit. I did some prospecting, walked over to another outcropping of these Apache tears slash obsidians. And this one right here, is just popping them out left and right. Check out the size of these. It's definitely putting out big ones versus that other one that I was working at. But the quality over there is way better as far as being translucent. But I'm gonna pick around at this one and see what I can find. You can just see them. The little black dots, they're everywhere and they're big. I was just about to call it a day, getting hot and right there, that caught my eye. Right there. Oh man, it's a nice rounded obsidian. That'd be a good one to get cut into a gemstone. It has a facet almost right there. Naturally faceted, but yeah, it could use some work. That might actually turn out to be a nice stone. Wow, that might be at least eight carat. Did I get the 10 carat at the new spot? That one's going in the bottle. That's what I've collected today. Got a few. They're all big. Walking down the mountain, looking at these obsidians, and I happened to notice this rock right here had a bunch of little black spots from a distance and as I got closer I noticed all these black spots are garnets that's garnets attached to the matrix rock I've been looking for this and here it is it found me that is so cool let's take a better look at them up close we may have to pop one of those off and take a look at it through the digital microscope that's all garnets my first specimen of rhyolite with garnets attached right there that is some type of egg oh look at 
this. I, I dig down and there's just more and more of these little bubbles. That must be some type of volcanic formation maybe. This is really cool. Neat. Wow. That is so cool. It just keeps going and going. Wow, that is so cool. I've never seen anything like that before. A few swings with the pick and it broke free. Almost looks like a clam. That is crazy. I'm gonna give this away as well to one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment. Be sure and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. After doing some studying on this rock, right there, right there is a garnet. So this is the, the rhyolite, rhyolite, and that is a garnet. So there could be some more running through this massive rock. I couldn't do that again to save my life. Three swings and it broke off right above the garnet. That is so cool. We're gonna remove this garnet and take a look at it through the digital microscope. That way we can see the facets because these are naturally faceted and they are beautiful. I'm back at the truck. What I'm doing now is I'm classifying this material through a number 20 wire mesh, really small. That way I can get all that dust. I don't want the dust. I'm classifying and then dumping everything into here. And then we'll take this material and use the gemstone concentrator See if we can get these obsidians to center up the same way we do with sapphires, diamonds, gold, anything heavier than the other material should center up. As long as your gem that you're searching for is heavier than that other material. All right, we got the plus material didn't fall through the classifier the material I'm saving and then over here is everything that went through basically dust 
I think I might actually see some small obsidians in there, but they're so small, I won't even bother gathering those. Now I want to take my material I want to save and put it inside a bag to free up my buckets. I can't stand having my buckets being used up when I could be using them to gather material. These will definitely help free up some space versus having just a bunch of buckets and worrying about them flipping over and spilling the material. So what I did is I put the bag in an empty bucket and you put a little bit of material in there and that'll help keep it open so nobody has to help you hold your hand. bag. Now I can grab some electrical tape or a zip tie. I like to use the electrical tape. And tape it up. And hit all the dust. So now I got my buckets freed up. Ready to go get more material. Working material from Ruby Mountain using my gemstone concentrator and you can see right there loaded with Apache tears so that's gonna work that gemstone concentrator will do the same for aquamarines sapphires rubies garnets peridot if the stone you're looking for is heavier than all this other material the motion and the water will make the minerals go to the center the ones that are heavy like diamonds gold nuggets here it is fully dried you can see how all the obsidians have centered up it's a pretty, pretty wide bullseye. They didn't get real tight. I may need to keep doing the motion side to side, getting everything more into the center before I flip it over. But they definitely made their way to the center. Here's all the lighter, all the lighter material. And you can see right about in here, they start to show up. This method works for all gemstones. It would probably even work for aquamarines, allowing you to gather even more. Let's take a look at all the Apache tears that I collected. And we have the small containers. But these are from the other outcropping, so I'm gonna keep them separate from these. Okay. And you can see that little white film. What I'm gonna do now, see if we can't remove that white film. Here's a good one. You see there's no white film. And then right over here, you have a little bit. But we want the whole Apache tear to look like that. Nice and clean. We have iron out. I'm going to pour a little bit into this container and let them soak and see if that will remove the film. And remember, always read your directions. Take all cautions necessary when handling chemicals. Drop the Apache tears.
let that soak for a little bit and see what happens. I'm not really 100% sure if I have enough iron out with the water. I normally use hydrochloric acid for all my cleaning, but there's some minerals that you just can't use hydrochloric acid. It'll eat it up, chew it up to nothing. I'm gonna let the garnet soak and the iron out and see if it'll clean it up a little bit. Here are some of the obsidians and hydrochloric acid. That iron out just doesn't seem to be doing the trick. And so far these have been in the hydrochloric acid, which is muriatic acid, for almost oh, 15 hours. We're gonna let them go a couple days. You can still see right there at the end of the stick some of that white film. So this may not even remove the film. Not sure how we're going to get that off. The obsidians and the iron out. That white film is starting to let up a little bit. That hydrochloric acid should eat it off a lot faster than this iron out. That's all we're doing is experimenting. Is experimenting and see what's going to happen. Here we have the obsidians and the iron out and right here are the obsidians and hydrochloric acid. They're not getting a whole lot cleaner that I can tell so what I'm going to do is neutralize this hydrochloric acid by using water and baking soda. Baking soda will neutralize the acid. I think it's one cup per gallon of hydrochloric acid. It takes one cup of baking soda. So I'm going to put this in this bucket. Now I'm going to put some water in there with some baking soda and that'll kill out the acid to where it's not harmful and I can get rid of it safer. Some of this baking soda. And that's killing out the acid. I'm not sure how you kill out iron out it's probably yeah see it doesn't really have much of an effect like the hydrochloric acid and baking soda iron out is a much weaker chemical versus hydrochloric acid this stuff right here you need to wear face masks goggles gloves and they're all wet so they all look really clean and shiny but i still see some white film on some of them so they did get a little cleaner so that's cool let me pour these out here is the obsidians and the iron out pour that in there and as you can see they are shiny and if you used to let these soak for maybe a week or two, it might remove the film. I don't have that kind of time. I'm trying to get this video made. 
Pour more water in here, get the acid fully diluted. Got some more of this. Obsidians cleaned. got all the obsidians rinsed out with water now I'm going to place them all on the classifier this will help get them dried out then we can determine how much of that white film was removed I can already tell most of these have gotten cleaner and they may need to soak for about a week or two in hydrochloric acid And here they are dried. They instantly turned back the exact same way they were after soaking in iron out and hydrochloric acid. They do not look any different than what they looked like before we soaked them in the acid. So I am confused how to get this off, this film. I mean, I could soak it in hydrochloric acid for weeks, and that might do it. It may actually take a couple of weeks of soaking to get this off. I'm kind of wondering now if they lost their metallic shine. That one still has a nice little natural shine to it, so I don't guess the acid removed that. You see how some of these over here, they're just really, they got some clarity naturally. So I don't want to lose that at all. That acid could take that film off. But I don't think it is. looking for garnets and I've noticed right in here it looks like maybe some type of fossils looks like little eggs popping up everywhere and this one looks like it could maybe come out of the out of the hammer on it Ugh, sorry I'm at a oh more than a 45 degree angle I'm about to slide right off this thing Thought I'd feed these amps some popcorn, and they are loving it. We got a big piece. It's almost like the race is on. Who can get the food back to the queen? This one's smart. He took a small piece, and he is moving fast. all right that's gonna wrap it up here at ruby mountain i hope you all enjoyed the video we got the dig in the rayolite bryolite and find hundreds of obsidians and it's been a lot of fun i hope you all enjoyed it man i can't believe how many we found I found that vein that was just full of obsidians but there's so much more out there. 
Colorado has to offer. Whew, and it is definitely time to get off this mountain. I brought one bottle of water and another type of water and they're both gone. I'm dying of thirst. Thank you all once again for watching the video. I'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks for watching.